Uh, I am Suleiman Ekau Sumaila OFR, representing Kano South Senatorial District, uh, Mr. President from Kano. Uh, Mr. President, my dear distinguished colleague, I am here to present a motion urging the need to reverse the concession of Mala Amin Kano International Airport Kano. The Senate, note that the Federal Executive Council on 17th May 2023 approved the concession of Mala Amin Kano International Airport Kano for 30 years to uh, Mrs. Uh, Kwampo American Air Force Consortium. Aware that the Federal Ministry of Aviation does not own eh? okay. does not own or run any Air Force in Nigeria and that by the dictate of the uh, Governing Act of the Federal Air Force Authority Fund ownership and management of the all federal air force are fully vested in the authority. Also aware that the ICRC procedural document state with respect to the agency that wish to concession a facility that the public entity should have enabling authority to transfer its responsibility. Enabling legislative and policy framework or an administrative order to that effect. Reflect that from the combined import of the FAN Act and the ICRC procedural manual is an evident manifestation that the entire airport concession is based on an accurable faulty foundation. For there is no doubt that it is the Federal Air Force Authority of Nigeria fan, not the Ministry of Aviation, that has the power to transfer its responsibility to a would be concessionaire. It is also fan, not the ministry, which has the requisite legislative and uh, policy framework for such. Convinced that if the claim that is a fact, Federal Executive Council has approved the concession of Malamine Kano International Airport has any substance, then the fact has indeed been misguided in its decision. And that action cannot amount to anything than a nullity. Worried about that the rational in borrowing uh, and spending public money to upgrade the airport only to hand it over to foreign businesses for a period of 30 years in the name of concession. Alarm that Nigeria is receiving concession P or upfront payment of $1.5 million, less than $2 billion. Well, the total amount of money that the Kano Airport is acquiring to government is $97.4 million US dollar. Disturbed that this concession is clearly dubious and the rise question on the process and what the actors stand to gain. Recall that the unions in the aviation industry embark on strike to question the integrity of the concession exercise, stressing that the concession of the airport away from PAN will necessarily cause uh, or halt the employment of the staff involuntarily. Worried that the concession by the last administration raised a fundamental question of injustice on why and a such project with a huge public investment will take place just at the end of administration, uh, end of the administration, just 12 days to the expiration of the constitutional days of the administration. Observe that the faulty gaps inherent in the concession will lead to array of low suite and thereby embarrassing the current administration. Mr. President, uh, accordingly, 
I am urging this uh, Senate to condemn in strong terms the concession of Malamin Kano International Airport as it was done yeah, and it was not done in public interest. Urge the federal government to immediately cancel, reverse, and revoke the concession of Malamin Kano International Airport and urge the federal government to, if need be, review the entire exercise and give a level playing field to all stakeholders. I so submit, Mr. President. Senator Abdel Nigi, may we to second the motion? Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Senator Abdul Ningi, representing Bauchi Central of Bauchi State. Mr. President, let me commend from the onset the move of this very, very important motion for coming up with this very strong legislative, curable parliamentary powers. Mr. President, this motion in itself defines and summarizes the kind of country we are in. It summarizes the culture of lawlessness, impunity, man in humanity to himself, greed, and pure corruption. Mr. President, look at the date. 17th May 2023, just a few days to the termination of the Buhari administration. And forgive my assertion of Buhari administration. I don't mean to condemn the party, but I said it is unbelievable that the airport, an airport of this nature, almost as old as this country. First, of course, in the history of this country, that, that some people can just come up and a federal executive council, fully constituted, and approve this mindless contract. Concession, what is concession? And why do we consist? Why do you concede? You do it because of some parameters laid. But this particular concession was done in a dubious manner, in a manner that begets any imagination. Mr. President, you look at the act. Look at the FAA and our act. It is them that should advise. It's them that they, they should uh, that will undertake. And because the act provides them where they cannot meet up with the, their technical responsibilities, they can now invite by the Federal Ministry of Aviation. Former leader, Senator Abdelnik, you need to be brief because there are several senators who want to speak. One more minutes. Mr. President, this parliament should not continue to allow this executive recklessness to continue to undo this nation. Enough is enough. This contract needs to be, uh, this concession needs to be investigated and then urgently let's have a report. And anybody that is found wanting must be brought to justice. Thank you. Senator Adam Alero. Uh, Mohammed Adam Alero is my name. I represent KB Center. Mr. President, let me equally start by commending Senator Samai Lakau for bringing this very important motion. 
Kano Airport is the premier airport. In fact, it used to be the only airport that served the entire <coughs> northern part of the country. For it to be concession in such hazard manner, without following due process, certainly it is a dubious process. Uh, instead of uh, asking the federal government to revoke the concession, I would want us to set up an ad hoc committee by this Senate that will investigate the circumstances under which the Kano Airport was concessioned. And if it is not done in line with the laid down procedure of the Infrastructure Concession and Regulatory Commission, that concession should be revoked. I think this is what we should do in order to save public funds. Mr. President, not only Kano Airport. I recall when the whole concession of the four airports started in 2018, Lagos, Abuja, Kano, and I think Port Harcourt. The farm workers, their union, decided to embark on independent strike. And because of that, the minister stopped the concession. So I wonder, at the tip end of the administration, at the tail end of the administration, just three, four, or five weeks to the end of the tenure of the last days. Uh, eh? Six days to the last tenure of the administration, you know, this concession was pushed to the Federal Executive Council. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I want to assure you that the Federal Executive Council did not do due diligence in approving this concession. And since due diligence has not been done, we should investigate this, the, the circumstances, as I said earlier. And uh, I guess my case, Mr. President. The Chief Whip. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, my name is David Esu Jimkuta, representing the good people of Taraba South. Mr. President, I want to add my voice to what uh, Kao, Senator Kao Samela, the motion that he brought, and uh, what my elder brother Ali Ndume said. Like me, I have personal issue on this because my state too is affected. The Kashimbila Dam that the Motpopos Dam that was built for so many years, millions of dollars have been spent. The same thing like that, few days to the end of the former administration, the same thing happened. So, Mr. President, that is something. Water Resources, Ministry of Aviation, the two people mislead the Executive Council. So, me, I want to go straight to the point. They have to invite them to come and explain. Because in aviation, the fraud line art is too much. You can see what happened with the Emirates airline. You can see how Nigerians now suffer to travel business class for six hours. They pay more than two million naira for an economy class, all in aviation. Mr. President, I think the committee is needed at this time, at what committee? and to thoroughly do their work. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Saibu, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, my contribution is just going to be more of just guiding the Senate on these issues that are coming up. There are so many of them. So many things have been done wrong in the ongoing or the previous administration. And that was because the government was almost personalized and privatized. And so people took advantage of the former president's, um, should I say, person. <laughs> now, that is not it. Please don't politicize this matter. It's not issue. Don't politicize it. In fact, uh, if it is, if it is executive, if it is, if it is executive. Chief, we are protected. You have the floor. Continue. Mm. All these things started during PDP. 
So let's not go there, please. What I'm saying, Chief, you are, are protected, Chief. You can continue. Let us consolidate these issues because there are many. It is not only Mala Aminu uh, uh, Kano International Airport, but all concessions done hurriedly and without following due process should be thoroughly investigated, reversed, and things actions taken about it. So let's do that consolidation, as uh, distinguished Senator Alero said, and maybe we should look at a committee with experts involved to look at all these horridly made uh, concessions and, and uh, privatization so that it can be reversed. Because some people are waiting for government to invest $100 million and then they take that organization for $1 million or pay back $1 million. So I'm suggesting that we should not only talk about Aminu Kano International Airport, but all concessions done, especially at the tail end of the previous administration, should be leaked into by a committee. That is my submission. Senator Jim Kuta, two minutes. Mohammed Sani Musa, representing Niger East. Uh, this is a very good motion, and it's something that uh, we must uh, give some kind of seriousness to it. Concession in business terms is very good. It's a good uh, way of uh, making the operational activities of whichever institution is concessioned to be functional. But uh, in our own case, international best practices are thrown to the gutter. If we look at uh, Kano International Airport, in the last two, three years, and then compare it to what happened within the last, last weeks of uh, the exit of the former administration, you will understand what I'm talking about. There are so many airports, like the MENA International Airport, has been abandoned for almost 11 years. And so many other airports like that. But if you have seen within the last two, three weeks of the exit of the last, last administration, you will see the kind of work, the kind of job being done at uh, Aminu Kano International Airport. That portends that there's something that we need to know. And then when you look at it from the aspect of investment, when a nation is making over 990 something million dollars, per annum, and then you concession that very large hub airport for one point something million dollars, collecting one point something million dollars, it's criminal. It's criminal. So for me, I think there is need for us as a Senate to call on the federal government to direct for a complete evaluation of this concession and to know what and what are the terms of Chief Weave, you need to keep chamber silent. <laughs> Chief Weave. Point of order. Point of order. order what? Order what? Senator Sorry? Oh. Order what? 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 Order Order what? Order Order what? Order Nobody? Nobody. I'm sorry, nobody. So, <laughs> so thank you. Um, let me Thank you very much, uh, Senator Kao Sumela, for bringing forward this motion. Uh, the motion is widely accepted, uh, going by those who contributed and those who are willing to contribute, but uh, for lack of time. Um, let me say concessioning is what is in vogue all over the world, as we speak, because government is not a good manager of businesses. I can remember even Heathrow Airport has been concessioned even to a Nigerian. And the airport is doing very well. But in a very transparent 
and open manner. Well, let's not put the cart before the horse. We allow the relevant committees, as proposed, as adopted here, to investigate, to find out the truth about what is being alleged. Uh, and I think uh, we shouldn't throw the baby with the bath water. After everything has been uh, investigated, uh, it is still my belief that we should go on the path of concession. Because this is what is in vogue all over the world. You can imagine that a Nigerian is one that has been, you know, who is now running Heathrow Airport. And, and, and he's doing very well. The, the airport is doing very well. In fact, they're even going into expansion. The airport is being expanded and more better than the way it used to be before it was, uh, the airport was concessioned to him. So let's not throw the baby with bath water. What we are calling for is uh, due diligence to be applied. And once there's an, uh, a transparent process, then we should allow concessioning to be. So thank you very much, Central Council and those who have contributed.